Super Doom Spire's launchers are the first weapon in your toolbar and an integral part to the game. Called launchers or otherwise known as rockets, they are usually the first weapons that players usually go to and are usually paired along with bomb or on its own for construction damage or a great combo. Usually rocket launchers can also be used in combat for rocket jumps, which is an advanced move by players, and can be paired with a bomb jump to create a super jump. A rocket is a very powerful tool all in all. It's probably one of the best tools in game due to its fact to act like a combat-oriented weapon up close and medium distances, as well as be a mobility tool to be used with rocket jump. Launchers are implied for destroying buildings and varying power, yet all are unique in style in each of mechanics. Due to this, you may be wondering, what is the best tool or rocket to pick? Well, I'm here to help. In today's video, I'll be showing you the best rocket launchers to use in Super Doom Spire, as well as their features, attributes, and more, including rocket jump and all the features of the rocket. Let's get started with my best rockets. Yo what's up SGNR squad and welcome back to another video. Before we get started in this video, make sure to subscribe for this Roblox drama, news, tips and tricks, and more. We often do super videos on the channel, so make sure to check those out. We have a full playlist that will be linked in the description which will include many helpful videos for tutorials. This is our 11th video in the playlist, which includes tutorials ranked in order and each build off each other, so it's very important to go through them in order. And then we also got art videos on the playlist too, so you should check those too. Kind of a quick self plug, but it's needed if you want to build previous context for this video. Anyways, this will work as more of a personal choice for me. So if you disagree, you can comment below as to why, which is completely fine. I like hearing different ideas and different opinions to mine. Let's get started with our first launcher. One of the best launchers to use in game is Hoss Hog for mobility. The Hoss Hog is meant for rocket jumping. While it can do combat fairly well, it is meant to be quick and rocket jump. It gives you further distance with your rocket jumps and you can do them more often. It is also excellent for destroying zoom spires since you can fire over time. Sometimes you will deal 100 damage and KO your opponent. Your chances for this to happen get higher when you are in the air. The Hoss Hog in the lore is a former motorcycle after all, it is meant to be for mobility. The Hoss Hog's ability to use his rocket jump can be very powerful in game, especially using against opponents and being used for rocket jumping to distract and dismay such opponents. Remember, it's key in game to not make your movement patterns in one pattern, and that's very dangerous as you're Opponents can figure out this problem, figure out your moves, hence causing even more problems, which is bad in itself. So you have this problem, rocket jumping is the solution. As we mentioned in the first paragraph, rocket jumping can be done by handling your cursor behind you and launching. It's an advanced move, so don't beat it up yourself if you can't get it the first time, which is pretty normal. A lot of advanced players use this move with the Hot Hog because the Hot Hog is one of the best rocket jumpers in game because of its ability to give a 20% boost in rocket jump, which is one of its pros as stated by the Wikia and the official game. This 20% boost can come very useful in game, especially for rocket jumping. 20% is a big difference and a lot more than players estimate. This around 5 or 6 studs that can launch you even higher, giving you a bird's eye view that would be able to dismay your opponent a lot easier. Rocket jumping with the Hoss Hog can be very useful as this 20% boost provides a boost that can be used to give this bird's eye view as mentioned previously. This extra distance can also be used for dodging which a lot of pro players do too where they aim their cursor to do to a certain side and then bam there it goes. This is what a lot of players do to avoid attacks which can come useful with the negative 15% reload time which also comes in handy. This means you can jump a lot easier a lot others than people with their normal rockets who often have to wait 5 to 6 seconds just to use theirs. Ooh, that comes at a disadvantage doesn't it? This negative 15% reload time, let's not focus on jumping for a second. In terms of combat, this means you can put very fast shots towards your opponent which can often be a lot shorter and are cut a lot shorter and can be used faster. These fast shots can add it up, can be used to be a KO. Talking about the final perk of this weapon which is 25% rocket speed. This means two ways for combat and rocket jumping which can be very useful. This can be used to your advantage of both. Quicker hits and quicker damage means you can often get hit shots for your opponent. Damage varies, so you may even get 100% damage and KO your opponent easily. Boom, KO is addressed. Although it cannot stagger enemies, this is an easy perk that doesn't really do much to the weapon. In an update which is coming a bit later and that's okay, Polly may nerf this weapon in the future. The debuff to this weapon also includes a negative blast radius, so use it in close combat as rockets should be used in close combat to medium combat. 
Overall, the Hoss Hog stands out for its ability to have good movement and can be compared to similar weapons like the Arm Cannon, which is also known for its ability to jump as well. It is also a good combat oriented weapon. A second good launcher to use is the normal rocket. I know right? Weird. This is the first launcher you'll find in your inventory. With its ability of no balances and perks, this makes it a spectacular weapon. The rocket launcher's damage dealt by a rocket varies from 1 to 120, seemingly sensitive to the distance of an object or a player which is to the blast. It's a ranged explosive alternative to the bomb, which is a stationary explosive which must merge radius and power. So essentially what I'm saying is a ro normal rocket can be good for its ability to balance. Reload is around 5 to 6 seconds, but a lot of players use this normal rocket because of its ability of balance. Learning weapons, this is a great starter weapon because of its ability to simply have no perks yet no buffs. Why is this good for beginner players? You need to learn the combat of the game before you even try to use the other rockets, which can be a problem in itself if you don't practice using the normal rocket, because then you won't slowly learn how to adjust yourself to normal rockets like the Hostog and the rest that we mentioned before. The normal rocket's ability and construction damage can really help out brick type playing styles like myself, because it has decent damage it can KO a player in one hit if you aim it just right. Overall, I think Polly and Blue them both made a perfect starter weapon that can really help all players. So now I'm going to teach you how to use the rocket jump using this. You can perform a simple rocket jump by aiming the rocket at your feet and jumping as you fire. This allows you to cross small horizontal gaps or boost yourself away from oncoming trouble, sending you further than the sword's lunge. When rocket jumping, aim in the opposite direction you want to go. Try to refrain from firing a rocket, especially when you use scope shot at enemies that are swinging their swords in the rocket's direction. The rocket can be reflected and potentially kill you or blow up your tower. Use other ranged alternatives like balls and boomerangs, and it's best you use your rocket launcher to pick off small parts of clusters while attempting to take down a doom spire while your bomb because it will make clear larger clusters. The normal rocket has many reskins too, meaning it's a weapon a lot will use. Next is the Bombardier. The Bombardier is unique on how it looks because instead of firing in a straight line, it fires rockets in an arc. This allows your rocket to fly over places a normal rocket would not. Both the rocket's damage and explosion radius increases as it travels, rewarding good aim at far distances, but unfortunately it can be weak in close combat scenarios. The Bombardier is especially useful for its ability of arcs, which is definitely useful in combat. The Bombardier's radius makes it especially useful for far cool combat, which isn't practical in normal combat, but it is a lot easier to get those far base kills, which a lot of players are trying to do. Because of its ability to fire arches, it can be useful in close case combat because it works like a Tommy in a sense, 3 shotter, etc. Now, oh boy, here we go. Next up is Crystal. Now, I know a lot of you are going to hate me on this, but it's true. Crystal's amazing and y'all just won't accept it. In fact, it's so amazing that it's been banned in tournaments for the spamming of it. Now, I know a lot of you all will think about pressing the dislike button. Just wait a minute, okay? Chill, my man, my girl, or an unbinary friend. Before you freak out, let's just take a minute. Crystal is my baby, I love the Crystal Blaster, and here's why. The Crystal Blaster is unique in that after roughly flying for around 0.75 seconds, it will denominate no matter what. It also has a decreased damage and a decreased reload, making it amazing for close range combat. Let's talk about the perks of this weapon. The 33% reload time makes it so that reloading is faster, making it again for quick KO shots like you guys always see me do in my videos. Quick shots can make your opponent not suspect them, unless they are a pro and have a reflexes. A lot of opponents do not suspect its ability to be amazing in close range combat, and for this, you can get a lot of quick shots in, which the main reason is banned in tournaments. Secondly, and it's 100% blast range makes it really buffed and it's the main reason it is banned. Because of this, you can instantly get a 1 KO very easily. KOs are very easy up close and this is definitely a combat oriented weapon. Thanks for watching my video. I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe because these videos take a very long time. I'll see you in the next video.